What's up everybody? I'm Joe Longo. This is 30 Days of Inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. And this is my friend Hank Fickle. He is a chiropractor and we are sitting in his office here in Roxboro, Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia. And we just did a photo shoot. And now we're going to talk about Hank and how he got here. What got him here? What got you here? Uh, well, thanks for asking and hello everybody. Um, like everybody else, my journey is a long one, but briefly, as brief as I can, I guess. Um, I start my undergraduate degrees in psychology, and I started out interested in the human mind and helping people that way, and I quickly got discouraged working in a state psychiatric facility, realizing that most of it was about coaching people to stay on their medication, and it was the medications, mm -hmm. and all about the medications. Shortly after that, I was turned on to biofeedback therapy, which is, or is and was, it was very popular in the 80s, and is still being used, but it was really grown fast. And what that is, is picture hook. <laughs> so um, I quickly realized, straight up, psych hospital work was not for me. And a cousin who was in the same situation that found and turned me on to biofeedback therapy. Picture hooking somebody up to a lie detector test with electrodes on their fingers, on their muscles, and you're measuring their skin temperature, how much their skin sweats, their heart rate, their muscle tension, and then guiding them to control those responses. How to control your heart rate, how to control your breathing, how to control your muscle tension. And it was really effective and that was exciting to me. It was all the mind body stuff and um, it was growing fast. And I came to a point where I was working in a multi, uh, multidisciplinary facility mm -hmm. and I was getting my patients from the psychologist and from the chiropractor both. Because biofeedback is a mind body paradigm. And when I reached the point in my life at 32 where I realized I have to take the next step and be a doctor if I want to continue growing. And my next dilemma was, do I continue with the psychology? Or at this point, since I'm making a big change, maybe I go for the body and go more physical. And I was in a bit of a dilemma and I realized over a period of weeks or months, however long that took, that my patients were coming to me and every one of them was saying, I just had a great adjustment from the chiropractor. I feel so much better after the chiropractor. Nobody ever said that once after the, coming in saying, oh, I had a breakthrough with the psychologist. I feel so much better after I'm mode. And it kind of, I'm like, oh, chiropractors are where it's at. Mm -hmm. Making people feel like their lives have improved somewhat. So I went back to school and started doing, uh, and studied chiropractic and really found my, my niche. Mm -hmm. I, I love doing it and um, it suits me. It's natural, it's my hands. I don't need a lot of equipment. And uh, people, people appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And I, it's Hank rewarding. is my chiropractor. I've been uh, coming on and off for, we've known each other a long we've time We've known each other now. a long time. Yeah. When, but I've only really been adjusting you more recently. Yeah, more since you've been here. Yeah. Because uh, Hank, you just opened up this this spot just this year, 2018? Uh, 2017. 2017. It's almost a year. Uh, my primary office is in Collegeville, Montgomery County. And uh, I took over here for a retiring chiropractor. So it's a, it was part-time office and I'm able to keep it a part-time office. Yeah. And it's great because I literally live right down the street. So instead of having to drive all the way out to where Hank was, now I can just come down the street. Five minutes, I'm all adjusted and feeling better. It's awesome. So let me break in. Since this is about inspiration, yes. I think the inspirational part of my story I actually skipped over. <laughs> <laughs> so the I was doing I was really happy with the biofeedback therapy and it was bumping and, and it was rolling along. And when I made that decision to go back to chiropractic school, I was already married, I was 32, and I had two young kids. One was eight and one was like three. Mm -hmm. And I thought at that time there was a chiropractic school in Philadelphia. 
And my goal was to drive back and forth daily and be home with my family. And after I got through all the prerequisites and got all my ducks in a row, that school closed down. And it was kind of tough because the next closest school that I knew about was either in Georgia or upstate New York. And I talked to my wife about moving to Georgia and she was not having any of it. And she said, you go and come back when you're done or whatever, <laughs> but I'm not going to Georgia. <clears throat> so luckily, I thought, somehow, some I, I don't even remember how, I found out that there was a brand new chiropractic school in Connecticut, Bridgeport, about an hour north of New York. And that's three and a half hours. It's still too far for a daily commute, but I gave up a good job. And I went up there for four years, full time. I would go on Sunday night. My younger daughter would press her nose against the door and cry, don't go, don't go. And um, I had to be away. And I would come home on Friday afternoons and spend the weekend. And I even had a part-time job on the weekend. So I'd come home, spend some time, go to a job, come home. It was a rough four years. It was um, a sacrifice the whole family made. Mm -hmm. But I think everybody in the family is happier now. Sure. Well, I hope they are. And, uh, and that. So I, it looks like it was a good decision. A good. Yeah, a good. I good found myself. I, I found myself in chiropractic school. Mm -hmm. That's great. So not only is Hank a chiropractor, he's also a, a great photographer as well. <laughs> and I don't really remember like how we met. Like if we met from Barb, I or think if we, we met, met at Barb. A music festival. I think it was Barb first, and then we we realized we had like a Venn diagram of other interests mm -hmm. and we didn't need Barb to be friends. <laughs> right, right. You know, there were a couple times that we're both photographic music down in the pit having all the fun yeah. and yeah. it's just a great time. <laughs> so I'm, uh, you know, so happy that you've yeah. stumbled into my life and uh, now that you have this office right, right here um, by my house. So not only is there chiropractic and he's a photographer, he's also now working with this I, I don't want to say crazy, but I experienced <laughs> it, yeah. and it's awesome. Um, brain tap, which is it, the experience I had with it. You put this, like, goggles on and headphones, and I literally felt like I was laying in a cocoon. Like, I felt like I was in a white tube. And look at this thing. And it was amazing. It really was. It was. I think I it really did like is. a fifteen minute. Yeah, an one. intro or something. It's, and it's. I got off the table and I felt like I was in a different world and just like refreshed and renewed. And it was. It was very interesting. So not only can you come and get adjusted, you can also have a brain tap experience. And yeah, Hank will tell you more about brain tap because I just it, it's know the experience and it it really it blew my mind. Well, the cool my thing, brain was the, tapped. The cool thing about it, <laughs> it for me was that it took me full, full circle back to the biofeedback. My intention when I went to chiropractic school was always to bring that mind-body stuff into the practice. But part of when, why I went back to school was I, I, I had a premonition or a, a hunch insurance was going to stop paying for the biofeedback and sure enough they did. So when I was a doctor the equipment was so much money to bring it in and the patients would have to pay out of pocket and I knew they would not pay enough or mm -hmm. it wouldn't it just wasn't feasible it took me 18 years to find this brain tap which incorporates all of that but is actually better because instead of hooking people up and teaching them to achieve the goals themselves with that learning curve that takes weeks to months to years for some people the technology in the headphones themselves the the binaural beats, the isochronic tones, put you into that alpha state so you get the benefit, like Joe said, from session one. You, mm -hmm. you are relaxed, you don't have to learn how to relax. It, it, the latest technology in neuroscience is incorporated and it's so much better than even the biofeedback was. So, one more thing. So there are hundreds of different sessions, guided imagery sessions and they're grouped into programs, like there might be 10 under, or 14 under uh, stop smoking, or sleep better, uh, PTSD, uh, dealing with uh, diabetes, coping with cancer, uh, grief, all, but not only that kind of stuff, like be a better student, be a better athlete, be a better salesperson. So 
it's really there's something for everybody. It's there awesome. Is. And it really, and you look at it and you're like, that's <laughs> some crazy shit. It is, but trust me, if you have the chance, you're here. Come and give it a try. It is amazing. I really, really felt like. I was just in this cocoon of white light, and then I got up feeling refreshed and renewed, and I'm pretty sure I slept like a baby that night. <laughs> and if you <laughs> come and tell me that you've learned about it through this video or through Joe, I'll give you the free, same free session, Joe. You know, How about that? Out. Hear that? <laughs> so get in touch with, no, get in touch with Hank. No say strings, Joe sent no me, contracts. And you can, you can get come a free try. Come try and see what it's all about. It, it's, it's a good, it's, it's, it's a good experience. So this is how I've been ending a lot of these, and it's a hard question. But if you can give one person out there advice on following their passion, their bliss, you know, something like I have what, a little what, story. What would that I have a be? little story for stick to itiveness. There we go. On my way to chiropractic school, or during my undergraduate degree, I successfully avoided all the important sciences. I didn't take chemistry, biology, and physics. I took interesting stuff like astronomy and geology, and you know, it's like I was studying to be a contestant on Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when I decided to go back to chiropractic school, you needed all that pre-med stuff. So I started taking that at night school. And everything was going well. I was getting the best grades I've ever gotten in school. A year of chemistry, a year of biology, a year of physics. When it came to organic chemistry, I had a woman who came from industry. It was her first time teaching. So she wasn't a teacher by nature. And while I am all about diversity and bringing immigrants into our country, she had a thick accent. And organic chemistry is all about the suffix of the word, alkene, alkyne, or alkane. Butene, butane, or butine. And I couldn't understand what words she was saying. And I started that class with 25 students, and when I dropped it with a 53 average, there were nine of us left. We were dropping like flies. And I complained to the dean of the department, and I was rocked to my core. I wasn't blaming her. I was like, if I can't get through organic chemistry, how am I going to get through the program? Am I doing the right thing? I was, and, the, and I was already accepted in the school. I just had to pass this class to start in September. And I failed it. And they were offering it once more in the summer, full-time daytime. I couldn't go at night. And I had to quit my, a good job to take a course I've already failed to start a program that I may or may not get into now. So I was at a cross, crossroads. Mm -hmm. And I took that course again. And here's the life lesson. This is what it comes down to. Same student, same school, same course, same textbook, different teacher. I passed that class with a 93 average. And when I got to chiropractic school, the next thing that builds on that is biochem. And I crushed biochem because I had such a great foundation in organic chemistry. Everything was the same. If you can't learn, or if you're having difficulty learning something, get a different teacher. Take a different approach. There's nothing you can't do. That's my takeaway. Right. If you're motivated, somebody can teach it to you. Mm -hmm. Like, look at it from a different angle, a different perspective. Right. Like a different viewpoint. Uh, look at a video. Get talk, talk or listen. Try, try something different, but don't Pretty give up. Don't, yeah. don't give up. Don't give up. Awesome. Thank you so much, Hank, for talking My with pleasure, me. I man. appreciate it. A lot it. of fun. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Uh, check out Hank. If you want to come and experience the biofeedback, give him a call. I will link all of his information right below. Uh, just let him know that I sent you. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you for being part of 30 Days, and I will see you tomorrow. All Peace right. out.